This main country home has a pond behind it, a big one. See what we mean? There's a gazebo overlooking the pond that's east of the home. The deck is 14 by 12 with sliders to the kitchen. There is a coat room as you enter the 21 by 15 kitchen. The major appliances come with this home. This room that could be the living room is 16 by 13. There are two picture windows which really let the light in and they're in the corner which give you a lot of extra wall space. On the other side of the kitchen is the great room, 27 by 15 with skylights. There are another set of sliders overlooking that pond. This room would make a nice living room and I'd put the master bedroom in that old living room. This was obviously a new addition. There are three bedrooms to the north of the kitchen on the north end of the house. The first one, because elderly people own the home, is now used as a laundry room on the first floor. This is the view from that bedroom. This bedroom is the closest to the bathroom. The middle bedroom has built-in knotty pine desk, glass cabinet for guns, and drawers. Kind of like going to camp when you're still at home. There's hall storage too for linens. At the end of the hall, opposite the old living room, would be the master bedroom. The windows in the corner again. This was a great idea and you saw it a lot during the early 60s. It creates lots of wall space to put your bed in more than one place. See how it frees up a lot of wall space? It gives you a lot more options. I'm being realtor Andy Morris, and this house represents a good deal in the country. In the 70s, final sided, modern oil hot air furnace. This new addition room is 27 by 15 with double closets and the same size space beneath it for hobbies. Double garage and that big pond out back. Got a lot going for it and those low interest rates the banks are offering right now.